Hey Ross World, my money makes money. So you think your parents owe you something because they laid down, they conceded, they confided, and they had you. Nine months later, some premature, unfortunately, but you may be in still good health, or you were late. Doesn't matter, right? But you think your parents owe you something, right? Because maybe the government says, hey, you have to take care of this child until they're 18, where we consider them a grown man or a grown woman. So for 18 years, your parents are housing you, clothing you, feeding you, and those good parents out there, right, mentor you and teach you how to do things so you have survival skills in order to survive. And other parents may help you not only to survive, but to thrive and to succeed at a level greater than them. Those are the parents I like. But some of you, a lot of you believe that your parents owe you something. They owe you your first car. No, they do not. They owe you to send you through college or vocational school or trade school. No, they do not. No, they do not. Stop thinking that because your parents are well off, that you'll be well off too. And some of you are thinking, well, my parents are well off. I'm their seed. I'm their son. I'm their daughter. They should take care of me. They should help me out. They should put me on a pedestal above so I can achieve things quicker. Now, that may work for some of you. And some of you may be greater than your parents, but some of you are spoiled brats. And when your parents give you things, right, they don't have you to work for it. They don't have you to work for it. I think Bill Gates said he has $43, $44 billion. And out of all that money, he told his kids, I'm going to give you $1 million. I don't know if that went up because of inflation to $2 million or $10 million, But that's what I read a couple of years back that these philanthropists, they're not giving their kids that much money. Now, granted, if you know anything about money, it takes how many millions to make a billion? Think about it. One thousand million to make a billion one billion so just think one thousand million we're talking about a lot of money okay a lot of money and he's only gonna give them one million granted say for instance you was a hundred thousand there and you're only gonna give your child a hundred dollars to do whatever you're gonna do start a business maybe a bus token or bus pass i don't know but the point i'm making is this if you believe that your parents owe you anything then you are not ready to stand on your own two feet. Now, granted, maybe you didn't come from the best of neighborhoods. Maybe you didn't go to the best of schools, but you have to understand that their obligation is to 18 and that's it. Not 18 and over, 18 years of age. Now, a lot of parents out there are helping their kids get through school, taking mortgages out on their home, uh, taking loans out. I advise differently, okay? This will be your life. These will be your loans. This will be your debt. Don't put your family, don't put your mother and father in a financial bond. If they have it and they're freely giving it, then of course, take it. But the one thing I want to get through to all of you is don't you ever believe that your parents owe you anything except what they have already done. Now, granted, small disclaimer, small disclosure, there are some women and men out there that their parents did absolutely Nothing for them. They barely even took care of them. And of course, I'm excluding you from this bunch. But for some of you pop his asses, spoiled brats, and those with a silver spoon in your mouth, your parents don't owe you anything. So stop coming to them like you a bum on the street with your hand out. This is Ross World. I try to give you the real deal Ross World. <laughs> I'm out.